Did you go on your first cruise and expect it to be all-inclusive? Surprised that you were charged for drinks, gratuities, Wi-Fi, and more? You aren't alone. Even seasoned cruisers get caught off guard by the price of things on board. But is there a better way? If you're new to cruising, you probably know that there are all-inclusive packages and beverage packages that you can purchase. However, you've never had that joy of seeing the astronomical bill at the end of a cruise before that option was available. I can remember trying to go through our room statement, trying to figure out if they overbilled us or if I should be concerned about my consumption, and I'm not a big drinker. For experienced cruisers, this has been our life on most ships. The beverage packages some cruise lines offer are so outrageous that you'd have liver failure at the end of the cruise trying to get your money's worth. And then there are the gratuities we pay to our stateroom attendant and dining room staff. These have been automatically added to the bill for years now, but you have to remember to budget for them. Some cruise lines include these in packages, others don't. Let's talk internet packages, multiple devices, kids and parents alike wanting to stream their favorite shows. The ships have the technology now, but it wasn't that long ago there was no Wi-Fi. You had to use a shared computer in an internet cafe and pay by the minute. Of course, many of the luxury and ultra-luxury lines are completely all-inclusive. Wi-Fi, beverages, and crew appreciation are part of the cruise fare. But what about the mass market cruise lines like Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and Norwegian, and the premium cruise lines like Celebrity, Holland, and America, and Princess? Well, I think they've heard us, and now most cruise lines are offering some kind of package for internet and beverages, and sometimes crew appreciation. I've looked at a lot of these packages, and the value is really in the eye of the beholder. You need to have a good, honest idea of what you spend and consume on board to make sure it's worth it. Because the cruise lines are smart, they're pricing the packages based on what they know their passengers consume. They are not going to lose money. Today, we're going to specifically look at Holland America's Have It All package and compare it with their standalone costs and their signature beverage package and elite beverage package. We'll dive deep, compare the packages, look at competitive cruise lines, and finally break down what a day on a cruise would look like for me. Keep in mind that only guests 1 and 2 in a stateroom can have the Have It All package and the other guests may add the standalone drink packages or additional internet devices. Let's take a run through the packages, shall we? Now remember that each person gets their own package and we'll be talking about what each person gets, not the stateroom. Note that Holland America does things a little differently than other cruise lines such as Princess Cruises. They break their packages down into the length of cruise and don't offer a tiered package like Princess Plus or Princess Premier. Holland America also doesn't include the crew appreciation or otherwise known as gratuities in their packages for stateroom attendants and dining room staff. Gratuities on the beverage packages are included. Let's start off with the shore excursion credit. And personally, I'm not a big fan of this perk. It really depends on your itinerary and how you cruise, if there is a value here. I typically cruise with my family of six, so I find that the ship tours aren't very economical, and I tend to use local tour consolidators to arrange things for me. If you are a fan of ships tours, this is a great add-on, but if you aren't, don't feel the need to use this credit if it doesn't suit you. There's still plenty of value in the package, even if you don't use this. The beverage packages is where most people are going to find the best value. Most drinks on the menus are under $12, with the majority being between $8 and $10. They advertise that beer is between $7.75 and $8. Wine starts at $9 per glass. Cocktails and spirits start at $10. If you're paying for these without a package, they would be subject to an 18% gratuity as well. Non-alcoholic drinks are also part of the package, up to a maximum of 15 drinks per day. The package you are on as part of Have It All is the Signature Package, which allows for drinks up to $11 each. If the drink you want is more than that, you just pay the difference plus the gratuity for the difference. It's possible to upgrade from the Signature Package to the Elite Package, which allows you up to $15 per drink once you are on board. The cost to upgrade is $10 per day per person, plus the 18% gratuity on the difference. It's been suggested that you need to make this upgrade before using the package for the first time and make sure you update your cruise card with guest services so servers can see you have the elite package. More on the beverage packages soon. It's also worth noting that all packages include the 18% drinks gratuity in the cost of the package. You don't pay per drink and you don't get charged that ahead of time. This is a very important factor when you compare these two packages to the free drinks package that other cruise lines offer. 
See the link in the top right hand corner at the end of the video for 14 ways that cruise lines get more money out of your pocket. There is one cruise line where free doesn't mean free. The have it all package gives you at least one night at one of the specialty restaurants on board. An example would be the Pinnacle Grill. This represents a $46 value per person at the time of filming this video. If this is a must do for you, it adds value for sure. Wi-Fi is the final item on the list. You're receiving their surf plan, which for most people will do the trick. You'll be able to use most messaging apps, social media, and news related sites, but not streaming. If you're purchasing this internet plan by itself, it would cost you $29.99 per day. You will have the option to upgrade to the premium internet package as well as multiple device plans when on board. The premium plan costs $34.99 per day, so the upgrade cost is inexpensive. Note, however, Holland America has said that Netflix and Prime Video would not work despite their recent upgrade to Starlink Internet. Your experience may differ, but I have not been on board since the upgrades. One final note on the Wi-Fi and Internet package. You do not need an Internet package to use Holland America's Navigator app on your phone or tablet. It's free to use on board, so if you don't need internet or you're just going to check in with home when in port, don't think that you'll miss out on features of the Navigator app because you don't have internet. There we go, that's the rundown of the have it all package. But does it give you value? Let's look at that and look at the a la carte pricing for drinks and internet and look at what it would cost per day for me without a package. If you're enjoying this content, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Before we move along and look at the value for me, let's have a look at a comparable premium cruise line's prices for the individual components that make up the primary reason to take the have it all plan. For comparison's sake, we'll make up a basic package and an enhanced package. Wi-Fi at $29.23 per day is slightly lower than Holland America's current price per day when purchased for the voyage of $29.99. The speed and restrictions for both packages are, is about the same. Now, let's look at the premium Wi-Fi packages. They're both the same, around $35 per day. The competitor here charges $89 per day for a package that includes drinks up to $10, plus a 20% gratuity upon the purchase of the package. When we look at Holland America's beverage package pricing, you can see the value here at $54.95, plus an 18% gratuity. However, I'm not sure why anyone would buy the signature plan when the have it all plan is available. I suppose the exception would be the third and fourth guest in a stateroom that aren't eligible to have it all. Finally, let's look at the enhanced beverage package with the competitor at $109 plus a 20% gratuity per day. This gives you drinks up to $17 in Holland America at $59.99 per day plus 18% gratuity, which gives you drinks up to $15 per day. Perhaps it has something to do with differences in passenger demographics, but I'm thinking that Holland America would be the winner here. Let's put this into real context and see where my value lies on a typical cruise. Internet, $29.99. I can't work or live without it, so there it is. Although, because of the nature of my work, I'm going to have to upgrade to the $34.99 Premier plan. Beverages. Okay, so I'm not a big drinker at home, but when I'm cruising and not working, I do tend to have a little bit more. Let's start with coffee. I'll enjoy two cappuccinos in the morning, that's $10. A beer with lunch, $8. Perhaps a frozen drink during the afternoon, $11. And two glasses of wine with dinner, $22. Sometimes a coffee or a cocktail after the shows, we'll call that $8 on average, depending on what I get. Drinks would add up to $69.62 per day, including an 18% gratuity on alcoholic beverages. This doesn't take into account any soda, extra coffees, or bottled water I may take. Adding it all up, without the take it all package, I would be paying $104.61 per day on average. But hold on, I need to upgrade a few things first. We're going to upgrade the internet package from the standard to the enhanced, so that's an extra $5 per day. And because I think I lowball my price on wines, I know I tend to like the bit better options, I'm going to elect to upgrade from the signature package to the elite package for $10 a day plus gratuity for a total of $71.80 per day. To me, the package is well worth it if you're sailing on Holland America. But, and it's a big but, I find this package to be underwhelming when compared to Princess Cruises Plus package. I would have thought that being a sister company under Carnival Corp umbrella with relatively similar demographics that they would have been more similar. In particular, 
Princess currently includes their gratuities in the package for only $5 more per day. If you haven't seen our Princess Plus breakdown, click on the link in the top right hand corner or at the end of the video. There you go, we've broken it all down and done the math for you. Now it's your turn to have an honest look at what you are going to spend and see what works best for you. If you found this helpful, please give us a like and a subscribe to the channel. We'll be breaking down all of the cruise lines and posting content that will help you save on your next cruise. Thanks for watching.